All right, good morning, people. Getting ready to call ground for taxi. Ground, Bonanza 628 Charlie Delta is ready to taxi soon. From Signature with Fox Truck. November 628 Charlie Delta, Green Tour Ground, runway 23 left, taxi via Kilo Kilo 6. 23 left, Kilo Kilo 6. 628 Charlie Delta. All right, here we go. I'm going to close my little vents for now. A little chilly right now. All right, we've already done our run up. Everything's running good, looking good. Plenty of oil. We added the extra seat. We're going to have a full load coming out of Wilmington. So we're going to burn some fuel. We won't get any fuel when we get down there. So it's going to be a little heavy. Hope you guys have been doing well. Uh, get my little badge to rub in my neck. All right. But prop is firm. I don't know if that, there, well, there it goes, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's just cold. We're both, we're on the right tank right now, starting out on the right wildlife tank. Wildlife one, green to ground. The wildlife one's on the service roads. Today, the Today, I thought I'd talk about some of the Garminisms and knobology of operating the G1000 equipped Bonanza. So we're going to go through some of the pages after I get going. I like a plan. We're going to go ahead and switch the tower. We'll put departure in here, 628 Charlie Delta is ready for departure, 23 left. Bonanza 628 Charlie Delta, Greensboro Tower, turn left heading 170, runway 23 left, cleared for takeoff. Okay, left to 170, clear for takeoff, 23 left. Uh, two, three, uh, 628 Charlie Delta. Let me get my number right. Alright, lights on, strobes are on, I got them all on for visibility. Everything's forward. No wind to speak of, so we'll just keep our uh, ailerons neutral. That's moving because I'm doing 16, the pedal. Contact departure. Departure, good speed 816, the good day. All right. Power's set. Achieved. Everything's in the green, looking good. Airspeed's alive. There's 70. We'll get a little right ailerons and pick that wing up. A little heavy on my side. There's 99 for rotate, positive rate, tap the brakes, gears coming up, lights coming off. Y'all damp on. We'll wait till 400 feet. I'll ease the prop back. Greensboro Tower, November 7643, Golf, Police Road of 23, right at Hotel 4, ready for departure, Blue, Blue Street. November 7643, Golf, Greensboro Tower, turn right heading 300, runway 23, right at Hotel 4, cleared for takeoff. All right, now we're going to hit heading, we'll turn to... Clear for takeoff, runway 23, right at, at Hotel 3, turn right 300, 7643, Golf. Oh, there's bird poop on my window. Should have knocked that off. I didn't see it when I was walking around. 
you'll see on our synthetic vision, the traffic that took off in front of us a Palata, so he's going to be out running us, so we don't have to, we're not going to catch him. Don't think we will. The name of the A Charlie Delta contact departure. Over to departure. A Charlie Delta, good day. Good day. Speed 816, turn left heading 100, vectors 4. Going over that way a little bit. So he might be on a 190. Range for departure, Bonanza 628, Charlie Delta's 1900, climbing 3170 on the heading. Bonanza 628, Charlie Delta, Greens for departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 7000. 7000, 3 Delta, uh, 8 Charlie Delta. I said three delta delta. These two are very similar, you know. Makes it tricky. All right, we got it nice and trimmed. Turn eight at Galima, turn around on course to Newburgh. I'll start shallowing it out to 500 foot a minute now. Number 971 Sierra, greens for approach transmitting in the blind. If you hear me, contact Fayetteville Approach 127.8 and acknowledge with an eye down. All right, we're going to get the autopilot on. All right, you guys still recording good. All right, I'm on. All right, Charlie Delta, clear direct to Wilmington Airport. Direct Wilmington, hey, Charlie Delta. So I'm gonna hit direct, enter, enter, and then we'll hit nav, and now we're going there. And I'm just gonna run my bug over to where we're, of course, that we're pointing. Our fuel is not set. Let's see where it says we got. We only got nine gallons remaining. We're going to increase that to about 60. What we took off with. All right, there we go. All right, let me unscrew. Take you guys down. We're going to. Alex 7643 Golf Greens, for departure. Good morning. Radar contact. VFR climb is approved. Resume on navigation. All right, let's see if I can do this without shaking the camera around too much. Skyhawk 700 radar service terminated. All right, we're VFR, still recording. Advisories approved. Here's what I was going to do. All right, we're climbing to 3,000, or we're climbing to 7,000. We're through 3,000. We're going 500 foot a minute. Good speed 816. This across the top is what we refer to as our scoreboard. So it just kind of confirms what I've entered on the auto flight system, the autopilot, basically. I like to confirm what mode we're in, right? So you have to do that. Then back over to the screen, our engine management. We're going to lean our mixture to match that little blue triangle, the little C on marker. So I'm just going to lean, my, pull my mixture back till that little white arrow matches the blue. Right in there somewhere, right? As we climb, we'll lean the mixture because the air gets thinner and thinner the higher we go. Right, I'm going to center my heading bug. All right, and then I was going to talk about our pages. All right, we've got four different pages. Map, waypoint, auxiliary, and nearest. Of each one of those pages, we have sub-pages underneath it. So under the map page, I can tell how many... Uh, subcategories, I guess, or however you want to refer to it. It's almost like bullet points that have sub-bullet points, sort of like when you do an outline. So here's the map page. We have five individual map pages. So, and they put them out in order of preference, right, Of or importance, right? So our number one map page is our general map that we normally use, kind of our default map page that we like when we're navigating somewhere. So it kind of gives us a good overview. Our next map page, we're going to do the inner knob or the little knob. Some people refer to this as the outer knob, inner knob, or the big knob, little knob. I'm going to do the inner knob one click to move it over to the number two page of the waypoint pages, right? Of the map pages, I'm sorry. I know I'm confusing you. Map pages, the subcategory map number two is our traffic page. And you can always look at the top. I'll go back to number one. Our number one page is our navigation map, which is our main navigation page. Second tab is traffic. So that's the most next important thing that we're going to look at is traffic. Right? And I can turn on flight ID, which if he has ADSB, it would if he's tagged up, it would give us his tail number. Third page is our storm scope page, 
right? He's got a dedicated storm scope. Not all G1000s are going to have the same layout. Kind of depends on what options you have in the plane you got. But and then the fourth page is the weather data link page. It's similar to my map navigation page, but I, I could overlay winds aloft. I could do the echo tops, cloud tops. I can turn on more weather and do like winds, turn the winds on and like look at the winds at 6,000 feet. And it hasn't drawn it yet, but it will. There's the little arrows of the wind. So I could look at the winds aloft and kind of see if I need to go up or down to get a better tailwind or whatever. I'm gonna turn that off so it just a little less clutter. But you can overlay all kinds of weather onto that page. And then the last but not least is our terrain or our Tall's B page, terrain awareness warning system. We have Tall's B in this airplane. As you can see, it's kind of, and then I can either scroll back to the beginning, or there's a default map page where you push and hold the clear button. It goes back to map one, which is their navigate. Then, all right, I'm gonna lean the mixture just a little bit more as we climb, just to match that up. All right, right in there somewhere. We're going through 5,000 feet now. Now to go to the waypoint page, I'm gonna rotate the outer knob or the big knob, one click, to go over one click. And then in the waypoint pages, I can count how many waypoint subcategories I've got. So I've got five subcategories. And they're kind of in order of importance too. You always want to start with airports first, right? And then I've got soft keys that I can look at all kinds of information on this page. I can look at the map, I can look at charts, the, just the general information page, departure procedures, terminal arrivals, approaches and the weather so right now it's defaulted to where we're going which is always good kind of handy uh, if I wanted to look at the weather I'd hit the weather tab and it pulls up the METAR for Wilmington which is and the winds are 350 at 5 10 miles visibility skies clear 19 degrees. perfect beautiful day down there all right so that's waypoint page one so if we go to waypoint page two it goes to intersections and then waypoint page three is NDBs. Not really used that much anymore, but nice to know. And number four is VORs. And we could scroll through VORs in our area, our nearest VORs. And then last but not least is waypoint user waypoints. If you program in some waypoints, that, say you find some property out here and you want to tag it on the GPS. You can make a user waypoint or whatever, you know. But I'm going to scroll back to waypoint one. We're going to use the big knob and go to aux pages. Aux pages, we have, what, six of them. The first page is our trip planning page. Delta 26, you can do all kinds of things with this to plan trips. Utility page, we can see what time we took off, what time we powered up, an odometer reading, our maximum glide speed, just you can set all kinds of alarms on this page. Aux, Aux 3 is just giving us all our satellite information, so we're getting a lot of, picking up a lot of satellites. Uh, number 4 is our system setup, so we could change certain parameters, you know, in here. You know, you want different fields listed up top, you can change them. Change the time zone, all kinds of stuff. And then number, this one is our XM music page, so we can set what channel we want to listen to. We can turn it on. I've, it's already on, but it's muted. I've got it. I've got it muted for copyright reason. We could turn it to whatever channel we want and listen to music. And then the final aux page is just a systems page. Tells us everything's good. Tells us what our databases are and whatnot. We'll go back to the number one, and then we'll go to nearest, which is the outer knob. One more click to the right, and you've got seven of these. And they go through order of importance. Starts with airports intersections, NDBs, VORs, yeah, 4 3 golf radar service terminated, squat VFR, points. change approved, nearest Both frequencies. This one is handy if you ever lose contact or you missed a handoff and now you can't reach them anymore, you're too far away. Uh, yeah, 4 3 golf Greensboro. You could scroll through different frequencies and I'll show you. I'm going to put the cursor over there. I'm going to change it to number two. So number one was the closest frequency, Washington Center. 
And then number two is way over here, another Washington Center. Number three is another. One zero six, Roger, proceed on course. We would be within range to talk to one of those, so that kind of comes in. Seven six four three Golf Greensboro, how do you hear? And then the last waypoint is airspace alert. Four three Golf Radar Service terminated. Squawk VFR. Just set them up for whatever we on the way back. And then I'm going to go back to my map page number one. Actually, I'll go one click over for my traffic. He's not showing up altitude, so I don't know. He's been unverified. And I can zoom in. Zero zero he's two miles three. off my right wing. I don't see anybody out there, so I don't know if he's down low, high. And he just disappeared, so who knows. Sometimes you get false hits. Sometimes it's just hit or miss. Sometimes it's somebody down low. Number eight, Charlie Delta, contact Raleigh approach 125.3. 25-3, hey, Charlie Delta, good day. So we're going to put in 25-3. Delta 26-62-09. I'm going to close the Macau flaps real quick. I'm going to make sure back. We'll check in and then I'll show you how we adjust our mixture. Raleigh approach, Bonanza 628, Charlie Delta 7000. We'll see what this is. 628, Charlie Delta, Raleigh approach, 3013. 3013 3013-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000-8-Charlie-Delta-7000
Okay, um, runway heading at or below 2,000. We're going to come back for the uh, ILS runway, ILS Yankee 6, circle 35 for full stop. Not the hotel. It's in sight for HRL Delta. All right, HRL Delta, Roger, maintain your presence heading your number three to the airport. Roger. HRL Delta, descend to maintain 2000. 2000, HRL Delta. Oh, my goodness. They should have made me number one, let all these guys practice and be number two and three. Oh, well. All right, well, we our power back. We got a beautiful view of the beach, anyways. November 9, 7, Quebec, proceed to Reguala. Try Delta turn right heading 170 back for the sequence. Okay, 170 on the heading, H Charlie Delta. Oh my goodness. It was weird that my line went away for a second. Fox, right, turn left, heading Came back. I don't know. All right, I guess this is the Cape Fear River Basin here that we're following along. Seriously, my flash drive maintained here for out of below 2,000. Zoom in and make sure. Yep, Cape Fear River. Who to go? Two tacos. Dos mas. Better make sure I don't turn left heading 080. Zero eight zero eight Charlie Delta. All right, all this way out here, and don't even let me go over the beach. That's all right. Let's see how they are. Get our power back in a little bit. Come on around. Gotta get that bird poop off the side window here, because when I turn my head, it's right in my face. Kind of gross. Turn 960 hotel, turn right heading 170. Right 170, 960 hotel. Here's HR Delta, runway 35, clear visual approach. Clear visual approach, runway 35, H Charlie Delta. Sorry, right, HR Delta, contact Tower 1, Monada, Point Honor. Okay, 199, H Charlie Delta. Wilmington Tower, Bonanza 628, Charlie Delta, visual 35. Bonanza 628, Charlie Delta, Wilmington Tower, 135, clear land. Okay, clear land, 35, 628, Charlie Delta. All right, we're going to put ground in here. Number 9, I believe. We'll confirm that here in a second. Waypoint, info, ground is 21.9, so we're good. Yep, that's what we got. Looking good. Other guys on short final, I can see them on the synthetic vision, see them over here. We're going to turn off the autopilot. Okay, mixture's rich. We're shallowing out our descent. Since we're still below the glide slope, we're looking good. Turn the flight director off. Glide slope's coming in, so we're going to start slowing. There's traffic out there waiting. I don't know if he's going to let him go or not. I guess it depends on how fast I get there. Three, 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 Yankee, extend up one. Extend up one, three, three, Yankee. Who 
Two to go. Speed is good. Here comes the gear. Light. One knot your flaps. We just got bumpy right there too. We're gonna start trimming it up. Bumpy right down to a thousand feet. I don't know why. But anyways. Alright, speed is good for full flaps. Three 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 Yankee make right tra traffic. Right traffic, two Yankee. I'll say you're doing a touch and go. Uh, three Joe Sierra, number three Joe Sierra, turn off that Charlie contact ground. It's on Charlie over to ground, two Joe Sierra. Touchout 382, Wilmington Tower, fly runway heading, runway 35, clear for takeoff. All right, clear for takeoff, runway 35, exit jet. Uh, better hurry. You better hurry. Number eight, Charlie Delta, traffic parts party, arrival citation, taking the runway. Hey, Charlie Delta, we're slowing. Tower, November 700-228, left base, runway 35. Tower 7902 Wilmington Tower, runway 35, clear to land. Clear to land, runway yeah, 35. We're slow, and we ain't gonna go that slow. Come on, buddy. Get her rolling. Put the beans to her. Pour the coal. Alright, he's rolling. 500. I thought he was rolling. He's rolling, but slowly. All right, there he goes. All right, y'all damps away. Everything's done. Three green, no red, light trail mixture's rich, flaps are full. Minimums, minimums. All right, we're landing. Set, set three, eighty two, contact Over departure, good day, set, set three, eighty two. Flaps up, go flaps open. A little slow for Charlie. The blue circles there for. No, three three Yankee, extend that one. Extend that one through Yankee. No, six two eight Charlie Delta, stay parking. We're going to modern. No, six two eight Charlie Delta, left turn and Charlie on contact ground. Left on Charlie over the ground. Hey Charlie Delta. Well, we're to ground, but as a six two eight Charlie Delta is on Charlie going to air uh, modern. Name six two eight Charlie Delta, still up there. Oops, sorry. Ground, Bonanza 628 Charlie Delta is on Charlie going to modern. And then the 628 Charlie Delta one's ground, taxi parking straight ahead. Okay, straight ahead to parking, hey, Charlie Delta. All right, we got it re-trimmed, everything's done. All right, thanks for flying along. We'll see you on the next one.